looking at what is actually going on now in Nigeria, um, one will ask, since the beginning of this administration, what exactly have they done? What exactly can we hold on to that this is what the government has finished for the number of times they have been in the office? And they're saying that over three trillion. I mean, where would it come from? In dollars. Yes. And a, you know the rate today, 1,050 naira. You know, that dollar is changed to uh, naira. So and that is not summable if you want to convert it to Naira. The point is that the uh, economic policy path of the government in all dimensions appears strange. And we cannot, like today, they are taking off the unconditional tra cash transfer of 25,000 Naira to 15 million households in Nigeria. And one will begin to wonder what the, the policy targets at. Because if you say that um, you want to pay money to certain persons that you are calling actively poor, they may not in the first instance be, uh, have, be financially included. They may not have bank accounts. So I don't know at which point they will begin to do the transfer because the language is transfer. So I don't know at which point they begin to do the transfer, or are they being able to identify these households? But even if they do, what is the value of 25,000 Naira to a household as against using it to better our real economy? Like going to support uh, medium-scale investors in our uh, mod in modular refineries, or even see to it that if our mainstream refineries cannot work in full capacity, we'll bunker it into unit of, say, this particular unit, you're going to produce a diesel, this particular place you do fuel, uh, PMS, and online that will have three major refineries. Have we talked about boosting agriculture before we are even talking about uh, this infrastructure? Why am I saying this? Because there has to be a people first. And I talk about physical infrastructure. A situation where these things are not available, it will be very difficult for you to talk about infrastructure. When you are talking about infrastructural deficit, they are referring to maybe roads. Then there is one aspect they, they have not also talked about. A very major, probably is part of their contemplation, is power. Why has Nigeria not got power? Right? I've said over time that most of our problems are leadership inflicted over time. We've not, we have leaders that uh, come out to think uh, uh, very strangely in the public. They say things that are not easy to understand. You don't know what they are doing. Now, we, we cannot have power, steady power. We cannot work with oil companies, multinationals in Nigeria, to say, okay, in your places of oppression, your uh, places of abode, your orig originating countries, you have refineries working. And some of you are owners of these refineries or partners. How can we have one here, at least in partnership? And part of this money, I heard it's in trillion, mm. four trillion, this one that they're doing conditional cash transfer. I see a city, can you see a situation where the federal government of Nigeria, in partnership with SPDC, for instance, I, I do in a partnership of, uh, let's say, 40,000 capacity refinery for each of the products. And then you're going to do a 24-month uh, period of establishment. Federal government will pay their own counterpart, just like we have in an LNG. It's about 60, 40 percentage, the private investor and federal government. Can't we? It was a human beings that in, get, brought that initiation, initiative. Mm. So why is it impossible for us to go forward from where our forefathers, our political uh, good heads have put for us? 